Happy Turkey Day, ladies and gentlemen, and back the beef. Eat some USDA or Canadian beef today, ladies and gentlemen. Back up the birds. Anyway, have a Iser. Kick back, relax. It's Turkey Day, and I guess our British counterparts decided to take the weekend off because when I went to look at their site, they decided to celebrate Thanksgiving with us, ladies and gentlemen. The British were being nice to us because they didn't share the eclipse with us. But we can go s share the eclipse, or the eclipse can be shared with us down at Antarctica with us from the German and the other, it's not just Germans, I know, they're this kind of conglomeration, and there might even be a Brit in the house, but I'm sure by the time they hear or see Bino's tape, they're probably going to get a good ribbon because the British feed from Rothera, Rothera, yeah, I think I'm saying that right, research civility they've been giving us some damn good pictures down there the british deal has been but the idea that they decided just to uh, celebrate thanksgiving day with us i guess because all we got is ease and i'll have another movie that i took photographs of this but let's go to what happened down there with the eclipse today on thanksgiving day this is uh almost noon central time 11 24 2011 happy bird day folks hang on a second and the the minor planet IAU American uh, decided to take Turkey Day off because even their projection map is not going. But I want you to take notice of an idea that if you've even looked at it earlier, is I'm going to show you a Google shot. Now this is projected for the 25th, okay? Check the arrow action, you know, triangulation that we talk about all the time in space. There you go, you got the arrow. Now this is the well right there at the hatch mark. That's going to be Earth and the sun because the idea that we follow the sun so no matter what the sun is directly in the hatch so earth is somewhere in here now i could be wrong and earth can be anywhere out here okay but the idea that the focus of the milky way is always centered in on the earth on the sun of the milky way okay right there in the hatch mark should be either that or that's earth if we don't really have an explanation on minor planet IAU minor. Okay, now they don't have the one that ticks forward. And now, see, it's the 24th. And yeah, it's not even the 25th UTC. Okay, they do have the clock running on the future unconfirmed NEO project positions. Okay, and there they got it from the 24th. And then this will click to the f to 25th and go through the hours. Okay, and, and not really important. You'll just see them moving in and out. Okay. But pay attention to the triangulation. Now I'm going to take you to a shot that has been pulled off of Google uh, Sky and I think Google uh, Telescope, Worldwide Telescope and stuff for a long time of where Elenin should be at. And you're going to see the same triangulation of the star pattern and more than likely this pattern down here and now it's moved. And this is like a moving live, not a live clock, but the idea that what will happen on the 25th, okay? And today, the 24th, let me go ahead and show you that we get viruses, yes, but we are going to get rid of that and go ahead and take up the uh, fireball. We'll give you a close on that. Here's some data on fireball, and this isn't the closest. Hang on, I'll give you the closest. And once again, here's another fireball close object, and I'll show you the pictures, but this isn't the closest either. Hang on. Okay, you have to visit my website. I'm not going to worry about shooting off since I've had a couple eyesers, and it's Thanksgiving, folks. Amberbach eyeser today. Okay, so 0.074 AU is our close object, and if you go to my website, you'll see that there's like, I think I list the one major one that's bigger, or if you go to RSOE, I think a lot of people will know what RSOE is, and basically it's uh, all kinds of things, emergency, uh, cell phone, and everybody in the world pretty much, if there's an emergency, they'll put it on there. Uh, RSOE, search that, and you will probably see the close object on the bottom of the page. And there are two lists, and you go to my webpage, BinoBlack.com, or Bino Black's YouTube, and you will see that this close object was supposed to be here today. More than likely, let me show you the pictures of it at Fireball. And there will be one more page of data of another close object, and it was probably the other close object. There's supposed to be two of them today. And this is the other close object, and it's probably the other one. Uh, the smaller item, I think, was supposed to be farther away. This one should be it. Okay, real fast, I think this is what I have for an old picture of Google. 
uh, worldwide telescope where uh, and as you can see the V triangulation matches up with what you'll end up seeing on it and then you'll have the new formation of like I believe these here that end up lining up like an arrow and uh, this is basically a uh, common alien area that they pulled off and blacked out and I think if you go to Worldwide Telescope right now I think you will not get to the coordinates I mean you can go to the coordinates but it'll be a black spe uh, spec so cruise around YouTube anything on the internet and they'll give you the coordinations of where uh, you're supposed to view Alan and Ant and you will go to view it and you won't see this that should be there it's ancient this is the old and it'll end up probably being back up when Alan and Ant close anymore Alan was close on the 16th of October was back around so basically we're kind of going through the tail again right now and yes it's not no BS the moon did eclipse the Sun down in Antarctica today and I'll show you some pictures in a second there's a little example of what does match up of like 2007 where they still showed the star cluster of where Ellen and Sp or Ellen and Nibiru is supposed to be and the idea that you get the black up here above if you go there now you can go on the internet and find out the coordinates it'll always be ballpark same Okay, folks, happy Turkey Day. It is beer and football today, ladies and gentlemen. So we also have earthquake action with the close object in space. The Earth loves to shake its ass when something new shows up in space. New date. Earth never knows what it wants to hang out with. Well, it's shaking its tails because you can see all the ink here at the earthquake thing. And I'll show you the map real quick. Uh, Montana had three quakes yesterday. This is Turkey Day the 24th. So there's graph action, and I believe I started out with Antarctica down there, so you can see that the idea that Antarctica had the quake down there, and let me save some time, there we go, uh, Station Antarctica, three places on the graph at the same time, shaking its booty pretty good, and it's quake here, and then we get all the ink that you just seen as I scanned up and down, okay? Okay, we've got the Earth going the right direction there, and there you can see all the quakes. We had a 4.2 up in Washington, I think probably on the mainland this time. As we come around, you'll see where the sun wasn't at, and the other suns wasn't at, and the idea there's not that much quake activity. And then we get into the sun area, and there we go. Ring of fire and everything like that lights up, and yeah, that was off. The 4.2 was off the coast of Washington again. And then there's a new, a new fresh quake up there in Alaska, and we'll hit the fresh button and see if we get anything else going on. And as of 1805 GMT, the newest quake was still up there in Alaska. And it was 6.2, and it's another 6 point something over in Japan. And the nuclear whatever probably keeps on digging into the core of the Earth because they haven't put any concrete on that stuff over there. So that gets fresh oxygen air from Earth, and that nuclear little digging a hole in the ground just keeps on digging away over there in uh, Japan. And it's a lot more than just one reactor, folks. And as you see the pressure on Earth idea that South uh, North America, basically down there in Brazil, Chile, and so forth and so on, will get more action down there. As you can see, the graph there right there indicates EMTs. I'm not sure. I don't think we really have anything coming right now, but there is electrical energy out there right there. So you have to pay attention to flares. I don't think there's that awesome. I mean, I think the sun just calmed down a little bit, but it's getting its ass kicked the supergiants and as you can see the southern pole is way off and the north one is kind of on and that's the aurora and that's the idea the earth goes through this through space at 60,000 plus miles an hour and the idea that our tail is wagging with the earthquakes and the idea the aurora is off not on where it would be normally be right there so and as we go to Alaska, we can see in stereo A core 2 that the idea that our bright object that we've seen has somewhere uh, accumulated in somewhere with the sun as it's no longer there in, in big visibility anyway. And i.e. as we look on Thanksgiving Day with your taxpayer dollars, the idea that if you go back what I just showed you on the other solar SO SOHO shot they lie to you because this flare right here will match up and anybody that's been looking at SOHO for a long time that this is always down in the left hand corner so we get SOHO upside down again to confuse people of star triangulation in space they give us a shot upside down again folks i.e. if you match this flare up and with the time and so forth you will see with the idea that they give you that one shot screwed up
Okay, so they give us a head core two correctly, and they give this other one screwed up. And I, onospheric pressure really even shows you South America, Brazil, and Chile, and so forth and so on is really going to get it, and even probably the lower bound, the Panama Canal, and out towards the islands. A lot of the pressure there. I you can also see the we also have the uh, polar drift to show you the axis shift, folks, right there. So the eclipse today on Thanksgiving, and basically it's already kind of happened. When I'll go to the close objects too in space, I know I jumbled around here real fast, but here you go with the close and the eclipse down there in the South Pole, and they ain't talking about the news too much, but because we got to watch the stupid ass parade, which uh, yeah. I guess you pull out that rainbow flag because that was a pretty gay parade. All right. So anyway, we got an, and I'm sure they'll blame this on the eclipse, which basically it's two objects that move very close to Earth that cause these earthquakes today. All right. So and you'll see that the Washington one's in here, and we had two six point somethings in the last 24 hours. And once again, you can see all the North American quake action there. 4.4.2 in up there in in uh, Washington and the other stuff up in Alaska. Yeah. Okay, fresh map for Soho. A would be seeing this angle, direct view of sun. So when they show a head, it's not directly from Earth, it's directly from A head looking at the sun and from direction of view from B so that you'll see Venus, Mercury like that from B and that view left and right on Venus. Venus on right, Mercury sun. That's your angles on view on s look at when you look at Soho today. And as you see, there's a lot more than what they taught us in school. Okay, Earth would be in the middle of the hatch. Earth and the sun would be here in the middle somewhere, and all this action between here and the 25th of all the triangulation. So, so we had two are two close objects and basically we had something like six so far today and that's six so far and as we'll slide through them here real fast this is the closer one which would be the supposed to be the closest object more than likely that's it and this would be the next closest one so that is it there and then there and then also in this view on fireball on the other one this was the closest one that was the best view on that one it showed us and I think that this is Huntsville here that showed us that and Chickamauga 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 and then the tel uh, tell us on this one and that's all the same comment right there or asteroid okay another close objects today and the idea that there was a big one uh, I think that was farther off and something like 10 IU away that was that bigger looking one and we had another one down here so there's close objects every day and there's the last object of the day so far on turkey day so lots of stuff in space flying around as your bird cooks in your oven that's why I cook beef on the barbecue Barbecue eat beef today, folks. Barbecue for the holidays. So, here's some quick view at Nehemiah. And the one that I can give you, if I can get it to play down at, uh, and I'll show you the pictures real fast here from Nehemiah. And there was an eclipse down there. And it happened during the dark object going by. As you can see right now, the dark object again will come up. So the eclipse came through as the big object comes in front of the sun down there. As you will see in a second, you should see the tail end portion of, well, at least if we go to the photos, I'll show you, be able to show you. Let me go to the photos to save video time here. I don't know if you'll see it coming up from the sun, the normal object we see, but I don't actually, yeah, that's, and as our dark object came up, we got that solar eclipse during that time frame and it covered up this here dark object right there. I we can give you the footage real fast from Casey Station real fast and that's the dark object coming across and you can see the shadow come by the window. You can also see the tetrahydrons that'll show up here on the ground right by the door. You've seen them just come across and then here comes a dark object coming around the grid. 
and somewhere in here the eclipse happens also. And the Palau pictures will pretty much show you the, looks like a, a black fog or something, but that's the eclipse down there at, at Antarctica. Pretty much these are all photo stills of the hours of the eclipse. Legal, happy turkey day.